Howdy and what's good everybody, White Tiger here coming at you from Paradigm Server again on a new world. Uh, reason being is because uh, we've been adding a lot more mods to the 1 to 710 mod pack that we've been working on here. And uh, with me, as always, is Mr. Chris. Hello. <laughs> And uh, as you can tell, I don't know if you could tell or not yet, but uh, he has a better microphone now, so he won't be as staticky and choppy. So let's get down to it, shall we? Let's get this thing going and get through the first night. Yep, and let's see how my mic sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely is a better improvement than what it was before. Phew. <laughs> Does your computer run as hot as Wasabi? And you said you uh, you weren't going to be very creative and not very talkative. <laughs> true, true. Oh yeah, I've got a axe here. <laughs> I forgot about that. I don't know what happened to Tree Capitator. Ah. Uh, I guess that's something else I need to fix and work on. Ah, uh, well. <sighs> It's always fun getting through the first night. <sighs> Just gathering resources and whatnot. But yeah, uh, we're playing on a 1.7.10 Minecraft server, and it is a custom mod pack. And Chris here actually started making the mod pack in the first place, so uh, he's the basis for the start of the pack or whatever so yeah thank you chris we appreciate that much <laughs> you are welcome uh, just consider me grandfathered in <laughs> right and more likely i'm gonna have the mod pack available uh on uh the youtube channel here so uh if you want to play along or use some of the mods uh, feel free to uh you know it's even though there's a lot of uh, mod authors that are out there uh, saying, oh, you have to ask for permission and this and that and the other. It would take extremely long time to get every single mod author's permission. And not only that, but it's just really a pain in the tail because what in the world? Ah, oh, block lag. Really? Already? Superb block lag. Golly. Ah. Oh. This is not good. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you want to call it cut? Yeah, I'm going to have to. It is just bad lag. All right, and we're back. Uh, apparently, we had some server is lag issues there. Uh, we didn't really do anything different. Uh, we just got disconnected and reconnected, and things seem to be all right for now. It just might be the server that it's on. It's a old client computer that I used to play Minecraft on, and I turned it into a server. So um, prob I'm definitely considering moving the old monster server over to this one, and then moving this one over to the monster server box itself. So that'll be at a later date, but since we already started, let's just go ahead and roll with it. <laughs> Might as well. There was a cave that we started out near. Yeah, I'm trying to find that again. Uh, hmm. Yep. Basically, this episode isn't really anything special. It's just us going around collecting resources and whatnot to get going. And oops. Make sure we don't die in the first night. <laughs> Right. And there's some floating dirt. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's what's up. But yeah, it's a uh, different mod pack. Oh, uh, over here on that mount on the mountain. Well, it's, yeah, which mountain? Yeah. Um, I see you, but oh, you just fell. <laughs> yep. I swear, I'll just dig straight down. Never, never dig down. But yeah, this, I promise, I will never, ever try to make a mod pack ever again. This, it took me a, f a few days and a lot of time and hair pulling out and tearing out, trying to get everything just function and work right. And now that it actually works right, I'm, I seriously am 
contemplate. Whoa! Uh, what? Gene Geo Knock? Geo Knock? Whatever these daggum monsters are. They just tend to just spawn out of nowhere. Ugh. I found what's left of the cave. Sweet. It, regenerated, it generated differently this time. Oh, did it? It's basically a hole in the wall. Yeah, we actually started uh, the world out uh, beforehand uh, when we were still trying to get the mod pack stable and everything. And uh, we already been in this world technically once, but we just regened it and started over again since I've I added more mods since the time we started. So yeah, it's basically a new world for us, but yeah. Uh, oh wait, I think I actually found a cave. Sweet. I did. I did, I did, tall putty cat. <laughs> sure did. Down this way. Lots of flowers and stuff here. Botania, yeah. I remember putting that in. Whew. I wonder what all that mod does. We got so many freaking new mods. What I did was, uh, I actually went back on uh, Feed the Beast Monster and uh, kind of used it as a as a template, you know, uh, getting all the main mods that Monster had. And of course there's a few of them that I couldn't get, like Thalmcraft. Uh, the first episode of Paradigm technically had Thalmcraft in it, even though it may have not worked, I'm not sure. But technically it did have it in there, so that's the reason why the description still claims that it had Thalmcraft in there. But for right now, as of this date, Thalmcraft is only for 172. And, yeah. But, uh, we're going to be probably adding more mods in, even though I said I wouldn't. But we probably will. So, look forward to that. Also, yeah, where you're at, that's not the case. Yeah, I know. I'm just finding resources and just kind of getting stuff started and whatnot. Yep. Uh, here comes the first night. We don't even have any freaking food or nothing. I'm about starting to get hungry already. Let's see, where is that daggum cave? I bet it's up that way. It's up. Up. Yep. Ah, here we go. Yes, first cave. Alright. Oh, you found another one of them things, yep, I bet. Yep, I sure did. Mm -hmm. These things love me for some reason. I can't even see you now. I hear it, but I don't... See it or you? Oh, there you are. You're probably dead now. Eh. You never leave yep. any type of fun for me. Oh well. <sighs> but it seems like I always find those assholes. Mm -hmm. Ah! It, you just said that. I found one. Ah! Quick, 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 quick. Go, go away. Go away, 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 go away. Got something. Okay, now I can jump. But yeah, uh, one of the things that kind of always bothered me about Monster is that the fact that it had some. How can I? Say? It had some mods uh, that it just wouldn't ever work right with, like uh, like Necromancy, for example. We have Necromancy in uh, this mod pack, but I just never could get it to be added to the uh, monster mod pack. And there's a bunch of others I always wanted to have on there, like uh, Witchery. We got Witchery on here. Uh, geez, there's just too many mods that I'm I'm just drawing a blank here, honestly. Right now, I'm just trying to hurry up and get through the first night. Oh, yes. Let's see here. Oh, lungs, all right. Shoot. I gotta tell you, I probably ain't gonna be talking too much because we're mainly trying to figure out what we're gonna do with this mod pack and everything. Beginning of the game grind. Pretty much. 
So it'll be interesting, to say the least, what we're going to come up with since we have a whole bunch of new different mods and whatever. But, uh, yeah. Yep. Torches. I miss Tree Capitator. I know, right? It's supposed to be in here already. So that's one of the things I gotta go back and fix. Damn it. Oh, torches. Cobble. Ah. So, anyways, uh, if anybody has any comments or suggestions, by all means, please feel free to uh, leave a comment and let us know what you would like to see. If there's any mods you might like to see added to the pack or anything, or just any type of suggestion would be just great helps, of course. <laughs> we need some ideas. Uh, dang it. I knew that was going to happen. I shouldn't have put the furnaces down. What happened to the 3D furnaces? Dude, we had 3D furnaces, and that just gave me regular furnaces. What the what the hell? No bueno. There are quite a few mods that don't seem to be functional right now. Right? 3D. Yeah, it's not yeah. even showing up. Yeah, it's most definitely not the 3D furnace. Dang, oh. that's always something with these mods, it seems like. <laughs> it really does. Ah, uh, yeah, coal goes in the top. No. What the heck? There we go. Okay. I think one of the, the first. Did the stump open? Stuck open on you? Yeah, stumped I did. Open. Stumped open. <laughs> yeah, it got stuck open there for a minute. I think what I'm gonna do. Uh, I keep hearing uh, a lot about this uh, flax beards uh, steam power mod or whatever. So I think I'm gonna try to start out with that this time. Let's see if. We can't get at least a little bit of power going on at first. I know there's a lot of other ways uh, to generate power and stuff, like extra utilities. They have a few generators and this and that and the other, but let's just try to start out with you know something new. Something that's, that's really hadn't been covered too much, I guess. Hmm. You know what my I'm doing. Oh yeah, you and your electrical age. <laughs> Gotta have that. <laughs> Dude, it, that electrical age, from what little I did see of it, I, I was thoroughly impressed. I mean, you gotta hurry up and make one of them windmills and, and whatnot. The lights, oh yeah, the, the lights. You showed me uh, some floodlights or whatever they're called. I don't know, but it was just cool. Yeah, and I want to take this opportunity to thank the devs who made that. Amen to that, dude. Hey, devs, I doubt you're watching us because we are derps and noobs and we suck totally, but thanks so much for making these types of mods. I mean, they're just excellent to work with. You know, the electrical craft and pneumatic craft and just everything. The steam power craft, I mean, just good grief. I can just go on and go on, but yeah, I'll say I'll spare y'all. Just be like a big freaking thank you to every mod maker out there that ever existed. 
uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. I'm derping out again, as usual. There we go. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna hollow this cave out and use this for mining and everything at first. <clears throat> mining slash shelter. Right. I notice I am having a difficult time speaking tonight. Sorry, everybody, we're not being very talkative tonight. Uh, right now, it's about... God, it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning where we're at right yep. now. And we I've been working on getting Paradigm up and running, like I said, for the past three or four days or something like since that. we created it. <laughs> well, yeah, basically since we created it. I mean, you know, the first episode we came out with, we, you know, you had your starter base pack that... Uh, kind of like know, our had, hello world. Yeah, basically. Uh, I think it was, what, 90 mods back then? And then now we've grown to, like, almost 180 mods. Like, bigger than, you know, Monster in the first place and all that stuff. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge, yeah. No, we're not trying to be better than than anybody, honestly, because we suck. I mean, we're just... If anything, I just did it just to see if I could do it. You know, I just... You know, somebody was like, hey, somebody ought to make a 1710 mod pack. And, you know, I... I just said, why not? And he I said just, that to me, and I was like, okay. Yeah. So, I, I actually kind of uh, talked uh, Mr. Chris here into starting the mod pack, because I was like, oh, I don't really feel like doing it. I want to you know, derp around with monsters some more, and, you know, kept on and on, and, you know, it was like, well, might as well at least try, I mean, why not, and then 1710, I don't know, I think it's mostly Forge that helped out a lot with, uh, a lot of ID conflicts and stuff, but, oh man, <laughs> 1710 is so much easier to mod than 164 or anything else before that. Yeah, I especially did. if I can do it. <laughs> All it was was mainly kind of throwing mods in together and then just getting lucky and getting them working. It was only, there was a few ID conflicts and couple of mods that just did not want to play well with each other like we try to have optifine as well and you'll find the optifine uh file in the mod pack if you decide to download it but uh optifine is there but at the very present moment uh whoa thermal expansion uh has kind of borked it because uh team cofh decided they wanted to use a rendering method that interferes directly with Optifine. So if it isn't Tinker's Construct that isn't compatible with Optifine, it's something else that's not compatible with Optifine. So I don't know what it is. It's just a lot of people hate on Optifine for some reason, even though it's a great mod, I think. It's whatever. <laughs> I, I don't, I've never really been too much into it, but that's just because I've never really used it too much. The performance gains, I mean, they're okay. I just like how you can tweak individual settings, like you can turn off, like, the particles for the rain splash and everything. That's what I mainly like. You have a little oh, yeah, bit more control. Yes. <sighs> I like well, to it looks like... disable the animations in the uh, porches and stuff, or smoke or fire. Mm. Yeah, speaking of which, we have a few different mods that actually add in stuff like that. Uh, one of them's called, like, Battle Towers or something like that. I haven't even seen it yet, but it just, just the name itself just seemed really cool. So I was like, okay, I'm throwing that in. So we got that, and the uh, roguelike dungeons are back from Monster. Excellent. <laughs> uh, 
iChun. iChun's utilities just updated today. So we have the portal gun as well as a bunch of other stuff. And now I don't even see it. Yeah, it just made me a liar. Frick. Really? Is it not working? It's supposed to. I mean, all this stuff, like, okay, I know Morph is working because I just killed a skeleton and uh, it, you know, sank into me or whatever. So, I know that works. So I can turn into Geo Geonock or whatever. Let's see what that does. Oh, whoa, what, what, aw, really? Really? Wait a minute. I just, oh, God. I have never seen that. You suffocated in a wall. What, what did you do? I, I morphed and I literally went into the wall or something like that. I still have the same amount of health and the same amount of hunger that I had right before I died. What, I can't even fly with this Geo knock? Oh, very Where lame. Very lame. Uh I'm not even sure really to be honest what you do. No, 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 no. Ugh. Dang. Okay, morph is killing me. I burned to death because I'm a skeleton, of course. Sheesh. Of course, I burned to death. How can it suffocate in a wall if it lives there? <laughs> right? Uh, okay, so... Note to self. Uh, update iChun's utilities as soon as possible. Whenever a new version comes out, of course. But yeah, dang, on. So yeah, see, this is a very screwy mod pack because... Uh, Almost every freaking mod in here is a beta test version. So update bubblegum. <laughs> yeah, basically, right? So I, I just decided I was just gonna do it anyways just for fun, you know, I mean it's nothing serious, just something to do, something to have fun with, you know. Why not? Well I mean it's technically running, maybe not well, but it's running. It's running, so some means of success, I suppose, but Still, man, I mean, God, I'm sitting here with half a heart, almost dying of hunger. I've done died twice now, so I guess this is sort of like Minecraft, but hard quest mode or something. Every time you die, you still got to regen your health and all that fun stuff. Yay. Yep, this should be called Hope You Like to Respawn. <laughs> Okay, no, this is not the cave. It's over there. All. So, yeah, apparently we got a lot of dealings we gotta have to deal with. Being everything's pretty much in beta at this moment. <clears throat> now, if any of there, if there's any mod pack makers out there that somehow stumble across this stupid video and decide that for whatever reason, hey, I don't want you to have my mod in your pack or in your server or whatever, just just tell me, man, okay? I mean, there's no point in being jerks about it or anything else like that. Just come to me on my YouTube page, just say, hey, here I am, this is my mod, I'll author it, and I don't want you to use it. Okay, fine, no problem. I just gotta make sure you are who you say you are. I'm not just gonna just take it out just because somebody just says, oh, hey, I'm a mod author, take this out. I'm sure, you gotta prove it. But anyways, I'm sure it shouldn't be too terribly hard, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> Sheesh, I done lost all my tools and all the torches I freaking made and everything. Yes, lovely. Well, I got some torches you can have. I was gonna make some more. I need to make some, uh, uh tools and stuff anyways. Gah. I'm searching for ores. <sighs> hmm. Well, at least Galactic Craft seems to work. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, because I just saw some Galactic Craft cap. Yeah. So, at least that works. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see the new map for Galactic Craft. Wow, look at that. See, uh, Mick Doodle went above and beyond everything now. Because he went and put... I, I heard it was like supposed to be like 13 planets or something like that. But 
All I see here is... I don't know if he Mer did that or somebody did it and he was like, okay, let's do this. I don't know, but, but yeah. we got Mercury, Venus, Overworld, Mars, something called Asteroids. I guess that's Asteroid Belt, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And where the frick is Pluto? Yeah, everybody always sits there, oh, Pluto ain't a planet anymore. Well, you know what? They used to sit Dude. there and tell us uh, uh, it was a planet back in the day. So you taught us wrong, so it's your fault. Pluto is a planet. Dude, you're talking about Pluto. That reminds me of the Bloodhound Gang. Song. Hey, look, my stuff's up there. Oh, dude, I just found my stuff. If I can get up to it. Oh, do I have any? Yeah, I got some blocks. Okay. Yeah, that, they had that in the lyrics of one of their songs. I forget the name of it right now because I'm so tired. But they were like, I'm hung like planet Pluto, hard to see with a naked eye. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, okay. that's The Roof is on Fire. Yeah, that's what the name of that song is. Go. Oh, yeah, I remember that song. Where did all my stuff go? I just saw it up here. Dude, don't tell me it just despawned as soon as I got up here. That is not cool. Yeah, I didn't pick it up or anything. Oh, come on. I just saw the stuff. Shh. Well, you know what? Another reason why I like uh, recording YouTube videos is because it kind of forces me to play legitimately because you know Chris you know I'm you know big freaking oh, yeah. cheater <laughs> we both are but you know now it's just like there's a purpose to, for us to actually play the game for reals instead of just always sitting there derping out in creative mode and testing and stuff yeah where did my stuff go I just saw the stuff I saw every a bit of it. And now it's just like flipping gone. Ugh. Well, we survived the first night at least. We're gonna have to... <sighs> find some food? Yes, find some food and survive the second night because it's quickly coming upon us. Damn, oh, crap, it's it. sunset already. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm screaming. I cannot freaking believe... I can't find the Degum tools no more. <sighs> That's so sad. That's what you get for being a noob, I guess. I just. I could have sworn on everything. Well, whatever. Nobody wants to sit here and see a video of somebody sitting there trying to find stuff they can't freaking find. I'm going to go back over the video and look at it later on, but I swear I saw my stuff. And, like, as soon as I went to go get it, it's, like, gone. It's very lame. Whatever's. Steal my stuff. Oh no, I was crafting a pickaxe. Yeah, so was I. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. And. Oh yeah, the other one. Yeah, shovel. There we are. <sighs> Alright, I am definitely going to have to go find some way to get some life back. Bring snacks. <laughs> Already, I saw Enderman earlier. Tearing up our freaking world. God, I hate Enderman. Of course, anybody that's actually ever watched any of my videos automatically know that. <laughs> nope, nothing here. Freaking. Oh, 
Oh. <sighs> I knew that was going to happen. You know what? I don't care what anybody says. It's a legitimate command, and I'm about dead already. <sighs> really? Dude, only get three hearts back? Really? You only get three hearts and three hunger bars? Really? That's so lame. Uh, uh, God bless it. Yes. Do you need assistance? Uh, indeed, sir. <sighs> On the way. Oh, dude, that over there is where them stupid skeletons kept messing with me. Yeah. That's what they're doing to me. Alright. One of them's dead after about 50 kills on me. Did, I, did you drop your stuff? You look like a porcupine. <laughs> you do too. Yeah, and I got it back. I died. I got some extra stuff. Yeah, I didn't have that neither quartz, but... Hey, torches! I wonder if this is some of my old stuff and they just went and stole my oh, no. stuff. I basically oh, used flashback. Right, but... Well, whatever, I did too. Well, I mean, that's oh legitimate. lord, that's a lot of freaking death points. Look at all them daggum beams of light going up to the sky. <laughs> yep, and I am too scared to hit the button to go into the menu to clear them. Right. God knows what could happen. You know what? I think we're about to call it here. Uh, I'm going to go back up here to this base at least, up here first. But Yeah, well... This episode obviously isn't going to be exciting because it's the very, you know, starting out, but we're definitely going to get more into this mod pack and dip around and mess with it some more and see what we can get into because we got stuff like mechanism. Like, Feed the Beast never had mechanism before in any of their mod packs, so I'm excited again? to try it, try it out. Mechanism, I, I don't, I really don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you, dude. Uh, I'm not even sure what the hell it is or or anything else. I'm a skelly. Aww. <laughs> Porcupine. <laughs> right. Let's see. Some of the... Okay, yeah. E either craft... I kind of want to get into that one. Uh, the description said that you can take stuff and turn to aether and then convert it back into other store stuff. Sort of like an equivalent exchange, which we have too, by the way. Advanced genetics makes a comeback. Yes. Uh, advanced machines. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, all the. Okay. So, sort of like a uh, Greg Tech stuff in there or something like that. Uh, applied Energistics too. Now this is going to be interesting because it's all the ME and uh, matter uh, energy converter stuff. The, you know the big storage system with the computers and stuff. But it's all different now. You have to do things like differently and uh, there's like charge, surges, quartz and different weird stuff. So it's going to be interesting. Archimedes ships. Uh, we got the new version of uh, Buildcraft, which is like 6 or something, so I know we're going to have to go through and look at some of that stuff. Uh, whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, Biblio Woods. Bombs will be right. Blood magic. Yeah. Buildcraft. We got Carpenter's Blocks. See, this is going to be a cool mod right Ooh, here. I've because heard a little bit about that. Yeah, triangles in the <laughs> square world of Minecraft. Uh, good, we got co Compact Solars back, uh, Computronics, which is part of, well, it's not really a part of, but it's sort of like an extension to open computers or computer craft or one of them two or whatever. Um, Ender IO makes a comeback. Uh, it's been updated a little bit too, so things are probably going to be a little different on that. Uh, yeah, Equivalent Exchange 3. Uh, thank you, Pod... Podmar? Padmir? I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Oh well. Extended workbench mod. I want to know what this does. Extended iron shovel, extended iron sword. Hmm. 
Extended wooden sword. LOL, extend. <laughs> extend. Huh. Alright, uh. Let's see. Extra cells for Emmy. Extra tick. Oh, uh, Tinker's Construct. Uh, okay. Factorization, which is part of. Oh, uh, I can't even think. Never mind, but yeah. Uh, flat signs. Flaxbeard Steam Power. Yeah, that's, that's the one I'm going to try to go for first. See, there's the 3D furnace. But. When I crafted the furnace, it just didn't show up like it was supposed to. Very, very late. Yeah, we are definitely having some technical difficulties. Yeah. Galactic Craft, Galactic Craft Planets. Glacia. Now, this is a mod that uh, Chris put in the first mod pack that we started out with. And we haven't done anything with it yet, but mostly it just adds in a new dimension i know it does a whole bunch of other stuff i'm sure but just because it adds in a new dimension I, we put it in there y'all <laughs> Hydro hydraulic craft now this is going to be something interesting because i want to build like big huge cargo bay doors to swing out and use an archimedes ship to fly out of the cargo bay doors or something that'd be cool all right let's see what else we got going on here Dude, that would be amazing uh, it would be we got lucky blocks in here just for fun, just because. Uh, Lycanites makes a comeback again. Yes, very sweet. Uh, yeah, mechanism. Yeah. Uh, I, I have no idea. I really don't know. I'm just going to have to look it up and see what all mechanism does, what all it can do. And Yeah. The tools look kind of cool, like the generators and whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, pretty purple. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to make some obsidian swords. Oh, cool. Mechanism seems kind of cool. I don't know why. That... Well, whatever. Anyways, uh... oh, yeah, Mimicry. Mimicry comes back. Yes, I love that monster. That helped a whole lot. Uh, mine factory reloaded. Everybody should know about that. Miscraft. Okay, I gotta explain something. Technically, yes, we do have Miscraft in 1710. And as of this date, uh, shoot, I can't even see. I think it's the 9th since it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Or, yeah. No, actually, it might be the 10th. <laughs> well, anyways, well, no, it is the 9th. Well, anyways, Miscraft, this version here, is actually the 172 version. And I just threw it in there and it just happens to not crash so just because it doesn't crash doesn't mean it actually works but yeah there's that uh miscraft necromancy yeah i'm gonna build our own little uh frankenstein and have him walk around with us and stuff that's gonna be badass <laughs> uh nuclear control from ic2 heck yeah uh yeah there's open computers now, i've never really messed with this mod but i want to get into that too um uh, Pneumatic craft. Progressive automation. This mod here is from a dude named Van Hal. God, I hope I said that right. But anyways, I used to, used to, I still watch him on YouTube, but uh, I put in his mod just because I know of him. I watch him, so I just wanted to see how his mod, you know, works and what all it does and everything. So that'll be something new for later on. Uh, Quarry Plus makes a comeback. Red Logic, Redstone Arsenal. I'm not exactly sure what remote I.O. is, but... Hmm. Energy transfer... Essentia transfer chip. Uh, oh, okay. So it looks like it's sort of like a wireless transceiver type thing. Yeah, it is for some type of automation or something. Yeah. Ropes Plus mod. This is a mod that I saw back way back in 1.2.5 of Minecraft. And it it seemed like it had never been updated since, but uh, I just happened to stumble across it. I was like, oh, yes, yoink. <laughs> Gotta get that, so I want to see some grappling hooks and be able to, like, zip line uh, from one point to another, so that's going to be awesome. Simply jetpacks, uh, we put that in, so that way we can just have flight abilities, you know, fairly easy and early on in the game. Uh, Steve's carts and factory manager. I'm gonna get Railcraft in here as soon as it gets updated to 1710 because I've never been able to mess with Railcraft. I want to see. I just want to, just because. Uh, we got Sync from Ichan. Uh, Talesman. I don't know what this Talesman thing is, but Talisman. Talisman. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, 
I guess it was going to be, it's supposed to be a replacement for Geostrata, because Geostrata had, like, little crystals that you can make pen, pendants and necklaces and stuff like that with to give you a special ability, so that's, that's in here. The Secret Rooms mod. I've never messed with any of this stuff at all, so I've got to test that out and see what that's all about. Twilight Forest, Thermal, Tinkers, Translocator. I don't know what exactly that does, but it's in there. Uh, yeah, Witchery is in there. Uh, another food mod, and then another leather smelting mod. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty good. Oh, somebody just messaged me. Probably a one of our players or something, who knows. But, yeah, okay, so I just wanted to show sort of a list of what all we're working with here. And hopefully we can fix some or a lot of the bugs that we do have in this game. Oh, you found some of that Searches Quartz. Searches yeah, I was about to mention that, but uh, I didn't want to step on your toes while you was talking. Oh, I talk too much anyways, dude. Yeah, uh... You know, just sit there and be like, hey, yo, wait a second, or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's going to be a wrap for today. So, uh, anyways, you know the drill. If uh, you like what you see, whatever you do, don't hit that stupid like button. All right, forget about it. That like button doesn't exist. If you really like what you see, tell us what we can do to make things better or just give us some ideas about what we can do with the existing mods that we do have or if you'd like an to, email. Well, yeah, drop us an email or if you want to just see another mod added to the pack and you just want to see it just tell us and we'll see what we can do about it. Uh, I can't make any guarantees cuz we got as many mods for 1710 uh, that I can think of right now that actually work. There's some other mods out there that are, says it's for 1710, but doesn't necessarily work for whatever reason. One of them being modular force field systems. And I really want that mod, but it just it never would work for me. Every time I put it in, it would just crash out the whole server. So I just had to remove it for the time being. But yeah, uh, thanks a lot for everyone. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Take it easy.